In this video, I want to look at thoughts in particular and the different ways that we go out and categorize them. It's important that we have a number of different categories or a number of different ways that we can talk about thoughts with our clients. Rather than just using the word thoughts, it's important that we can have other aspects because they have different meanings to different people. And what's important in, in doing this is to find out what, what's the most important one to that client or which one's the one that resonates for them. So I just want to go through a bit of a mind map, if you will, in terms of uh, what, what the centre thought uh, is and then how we can go out and discuss thoughts in different ways. So in the middle here we would have thoughts are and then we're just going to simply break that down there are a number of things that thoughts are and a number of ways that we can talk about thoughts one of the ways that we can say we can say that they are comments it's commentary it's this commentary box that keeps talking to us it's something that we all experience. I like comment the commentary box because it, it can uh, somewhat tell, uh, give you a flavour that it's an ongoing a stream of thought. So the, the commentary box is quite useful for comments. We have ideas. So they're just ideas that pop up. I know that often I might be in the shower and um, I'm just you know, shampooing my hair, not that there's too much of that, but I might be shampooing my hair and an idea pops up and there it is. I didn't ask for the idea. It certainly wasn't in, in my mind at that time. It just popped up. So an idea shows up. That's also a thought. We have We have questions, the mind asks questions. We only have to be around a child to realise how much the mind is asking questions. It's constantly talking about what's this, what's that, why is a real big one. That's where some clients can get caught up in asking this why, why, why. We have answers. So along with having questions, we, we see that we have these answers. So the mind likes to just answer things. It goes out and, and provides answers. So someone might actually make a comment and the mind will just answer it. So we have that. We have opinions. So everyone generally has an opinion. We see that very often. Uh, we, this, is, this is what makes it quite interesting to, to go to university or to be at a dinner party that we can have a, have a discussion about something. There's lots of different opinions. Where we get stuck is when uh, we, we, we tend to fuse with one opinion and say that the others are wrong or the others are incorrect and we, we, we try and battle the truth of an opinion rather than it just being an opinion. We have images. Now, when we look at diffusion, it's actually cognitive diffusion. And, and as part of our cognitions, it does also bring up images. It's things that we can go out and see. Uh, it, it's an image of, of a situation. And sometimes that can even uh, cause us some, some grief where we think about something and it, boom, it brings up a, an image in, in the mind's eye. Memories, uh, I put that next to images in actual fact because memories often come up uh, with images and in actual fact when, when we explore something like post-traumatic stress, it's often that we'll go out and have memories of an incident uh, or, or an occurrence or an event where we felt threatened or, or, or self-harm or sorry, or harm was going to happen to us, um, danger of, of death. Uh, so memories can come up and, and certainly images at, at the same time. We have judgments, judgments showing up, and in actual fact, that's something that we, we really get caught up quite often. That, uh, there, there's, there's an, uh, usually we can have a, uh, I haven't written it up here yet, but it'll be an assumption, it'll be an assumption of a judgment. 
and there could be commentaries and, and opinions and so on and so forth, but judgments is something that we, we, we can hold as well. Uh, as I said, assumptions. We can have sounds. And sounds are quite quite interesting uh, in, in that if we look at thoughts are sounds, if I were to say to you, um, uh, that might not resonate anything for you, it might not bring up anything. But what I've actually said is, is I've said, you've got no idea. And it's quite a rude remark, but because it's in a different language, it just doesn't go out and turn anything on. So thoughts are... They're sounds, right? I could say uh, budala. that's a little bit harsher again. It says, you know, you're, you're really an idiot. Um, and that, that, that's, that's something else. Or I could go out and say Bashilab uh, Dan. And you might go, oh, what's he said now? And what I've actually said is, geez, it's a nice day. It's, it, it's a really nice day. So we can see that if I've said two uh, quite, I suppose, uh, degrading or, or negative remarks towards you, the mind immediately begins to go, oh, what was that third one? What has he said about me? And in actual fact, it wasn't anything. You just related a sound to a particular meaning. Um, and that's what we're trying to strip away a little bit with diffusion. We, we're not trying to get consumed in the meaning, but rather uh, distance ourselves from that. So we've got all of these other ones. There are other things like uh, we can call thoughts as data. It's you know it's just data that's showing up. We can say um, uh, that that thoughts are electrical impulses. We can go out and and, and see that occur in in scans and so on with, with modern medicine. So thoughts are all these things. How do we go out and use this in in a clinical setting? I would be looking at you know what's the commentary that the mind's saying to you right now. That's how I might go out and deliver that. Or I might say. What, what sort of data do you expect to have if you were going to go to that show with those friends? And they go, okay, what's the data? And so they start thinking about thoughts, but I've used the word data. We might look at, you know, what are some of the images that you see in your dream, um, which is very different to uh, it being a reality. We, we talk about images, and then, and then I might say, well, what sort of images do you see on a television screen? So I'm moving from uh, quite a distressing dream, talking about images, to moving to images in terms of on a video screen. So we can go out and, and, and look at it in, in that sense. And in actual fact, it gets very interesting when we start to explore thoughts as being uh, the, the, these cognitions. Because if I were to ask a client to close their eyes and to bring about a memory and to turn on these, these images and give it colour and so on. I can make it darker, I can make it lighter, I can change the colour, I can go out and, and make it shorter or bigger, I can emphasise things. I can actually put a nose, a red noses on people, I can put funny party hats on, I can dress people up in different ways. So there's a way that I can kind of manipulate or move or change my cognitive side and, and when there is... Uh, some difficulties that people are going through, I might introduce thoughts uh, or memories or whatever it might be using a different uh, category and start to diffuse and start to, to change that up for them or support them in doing so. Remembering that diffusion is actually not about stopping a thought. It's about seeing a thought for what it is, which is a thought. It's also a judgment, an assumption, a sound, a question, an idea, a comment, an answer, an option, uh, an opinion, an image, a memory. It's all these things and more and data and electrical impulses. That's what we're trying to, uh, to, to put across and, and to deliver and to promote. So thoughts within the diffusion model, uh, we can sometimes move away from using the word thoughts to other categories. Very useful, very powerful, and once again, if I were to say this in a different language, it probably wouldn't go out and uh, resonate with you at all. So I'll say something, hopefully you'll be able to uh, understand because you've heard it before, and that's ciao, vidimase. That just means goodbye, see you next time. Take care and see you next time.